Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless her thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of Amen. Morning of her children. My dear Father, I have you this day. All my prayers for us to the sacrament. And even in Jesus and the Holy Sacrament of Mass, throughout the world in the Holy Spirit. I unite with my mother Mary, all of you in the same, and all souls are territory, and pray for the Father and myself, for each and my family, for my friends, for all people throughout the world, for all souls are territory, to pray for the Father and myself, for each and my family, for my friends, for all people throughout the world, for all souls are territory. I love the you know, Savior heart. I love you, Mary, and I give you my heart. I love you, Jesus, and I give you my heart. Amen. The Pacific Coast Future Catholic School provides an excellent in education, which knows a loving relationship with God and builds a caring community that serves others. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic where which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Live on tape from ECCS Studios in Venice, Florida, it's Tiger Talk Thursday with our hosts, Sydney Jackson and Amalia Bowler. Lights, camera, action. Good morning, ECCS Children of God. Today is Thursday, February 16th, 2023. We have several birthdays to announce. Today, Lorenzo and Dia in pre-K-4 celebrate birthdays. On Saturday, both Aaron Musi in third grade and Remy Clark in kindergarten will celebrate their birthdays. And on Monday, Eddie Avancho and Miss Lobauer will celebrate their birthdays. Happy birthday to, to Lorenzo, Lorenzo, Dia, Aaron, Aaron Remy, Eddie, and, and Miss Lobauer. May the blessing of God be upon you all. Guess who the saint of the day is today? Did you know that there are over 10,000 saints? Please don't make me guess who the saint of the day is. Today is the feast day of Gilbert of Sempringham. As a young child, he was often sick and couldn't do what other children did. Even as an adult, his body stayed sick and weak. He was also sad that he would be unable to become a knight like the other boys in the, from wealthy families. Oh, I know St. Gilbert. He was sad that he would be unable to become a knight like the other boys from wealthy families. He would never fight in battles, but he was given beautiful lands. You're right. Gilbert decided to do something extraordinary, something that needed the strength of his heart and not the strength of his body. He decided to give the land back to God. Wow, so these beautiful houses became churches and houses of prayer? That really shows how much he loves God. St. Gilbert, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We also wanted to congratulate our new members of National Junior Honor Society. Congratulations! Do you know? Do you know how to become a member? Well, there's a lot of qualifications you need to become a member. Yeah, you have to have a 93% average of all your core classes. And you have to have some leadership skills. You also have to write an essay about why you want to become a member. Speaking of which, there was one essay that really stood out to our advisors. We would like Kristen Chaka to read her essay now. My qualifications for National Junior Honor Society. When I was 10 years old, I watched Addison Curtins receive her National Junior Honor Society certificate. In that moment, I knew that is what I wanted to do. I knew the responsibility, I knew the honor, and I knew it was going to be difficult, 
but that's what I but I wanted that honor more than anything. That was my dream. And here I am, two years later, just like she did in sixth grade. As a student, I believe I have the skills necessary to be a part of NJHS, simply by the fact that I was nominated to be a part of this scholarly opportunity. However, I have always been on the honor roll since I was in the fourth grade, never obtaining a grade less than a B- minus on my report card. Since the beginning of middle school and I was reintroduced in JHS, I have always tried to obtain an above average GPA. I think that my academic rec records have proven thus far that I have held up to the first qualification for consideration into NJHS. For most of my primary school years, I have contributed a lot to my school and church. Between casting plays, creating music, and co-producing Stations of the Cross last year, to singing and cantering in the children's choir at the church. I feel like I have proven to be very involved in our community and therefore making me a student leader others can depend on. Adults have given me leadership responsibilities, such as being second chair last season and first chair flute this season in the Venice Youth Symphony Orchestra, in addition to being the youngest to play with high schoolers at Venice High. This, I believe, is the most important part of working with others successfully. And as a leader, I have the ability to sacrifice pre-teen time to the community to make it a better place through music. Time management is something that I have per perfected over the years. I've volunteered my time at band and school by mentoring young musicians. In addition to music, I have volunteered every year at the Knights of Columbus Fish Fry and the Tootsie Roll Drive. Volunteering all of this time while balancing school makes me a perfect candidate for NJHS. Receiving my senior status in altar serving at our church has been my most recent achievement, and also that honor giving me the responsibility to mentor elementary recruits. I have enjoyed every moment of it. It makes me feel like I have a sense of responsibility to help and an obligation as well to, to these things. I feel like, I, therefore, I feel like I am a fortunate, hmm. I feel that I am fortunate enough to have this opportunity to be in such a prestigious club and finally to be a model to others. I believe that I have what it takes to be an NJHS and be an excellent team member to the club. With, on that note, I couldn't recommend myself more to be a part of this honor. Thanks, Kristen. That was such an amazing essay. We are so excited to have you on the National Junior Honor Society team. Kristen is a great example of going above and beyond. She is a great role model for students at our school. You know, we did a parody for the talent show. Would you like to see that? We would love to. It's fun to be in the NJHS. We represent scholarship, leadership, and service. We'll help with all of your needs. We're here for you when you please. You can always hang with us. NJHS. It's fun to be in the Wow, that was great. Now it's time for roving reporters. Okay. Hey, Miss Keir, what kind of car would Jesus drive? What kind of car would I what? Would Jesus drive? Oh, would Jesus drive? What kind of car would Jesus drive? I have no idea. <laughs> A Chrysler. A Chrysler. <laughs> A Chrysler. <laughs> Who's there? Cargo. Cargo who? Cargo tutu vroom vroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, when someone needed a boat made, what do the people in town say? I don't We know a guy. Why did Jonah not trust the ocean? I don't know why. Because it was fishy. <laughs> Get it? These Bible themed jokes really put the hot in Hallelujah. <laughs> they really did. Thank you, Roving Reporters, for that laugh. Are we forgetting anything? Yes. Don't forget about no school on Monday because of President's Day. All right. Now let's stay tuned for some announcements. Hello, ACS Tigers. This is a reminder that fifth grade is collecting the following items for the Lions Club. Use prescription eyeglasses, new or old reading eyeglasses. Please don't take your grandparents or parents' glasses. 
sunglasses, can tabs, hearing aids, and hearing aid batteries. You can bring them to the fifth grade classroom or give them to a fifth grader. We'll be collecting until March 24th. Thank you for helping us provide eyesight, hearing, and better. Wheelchair to those in need. Hey everyone, we're excited to announce our sweetheart dance. It will be happening at Our Lady of Lords from 6.30 to 8.30 this Saturday. The admissions will be $20 per family, so make sure to register before then. We hope to see you there. Well, that's all for today. Have, Have a blessed day. Go, Go Tigers! Tigers.